All right, all. Like I said, I was suggesting today's video, I'm going to be sharing you how to update your BIOS on the Gigabyte B550M DS3H motherboard. This is a how to or tutorial just to show you how to get this done. If you decide to do this, you take on full responsibility for any damage done to your computer components while doing so. And like always, when you update your BIOS, you do want to plug it into a UPS or an unruffable power supply if you have one possible. That way, you don't have to worry about losing power. Because if you lose power while doing so, if someone flips the breaker, someone unplugs it, the power goes out because of a tree limb, or you can break your motherboard while doing this. So you want to make sure you have consistent power going to your system. But the only tools you really need to get this job done is some kind of little flash drive. Sometimes when you get the flash drive, when you get the BIOS put on the flash drive unextracted, sometimes it still won't work. I do not know how or why this happens. I do not know how to tell which flash drives it will or will not work on. The only thing you can really do is try them out. Keep in mind, you will have to reformat the flash drive as a FAT32 format for the buyers to read it. So you will lose any and all data that's on the flash drive. So make sure it's a good clean flash drive and you back up any files that may be on that flash drive that you need to keep. And with all that being said, let me show you how to get this done. All right, y'all. Here we are on the desktop of the computer that we're going to update the BIOS on. I pulled up this little program that I like to use to figure out what BIOS we're in the morning on this computer, which is called CPU-Z. Once you get the program opened up, go over to where it says main board. Go down there to second, second square down here. It says version F10. So that's the BIOS version that we're currently on. Uh, let's open up the tab here and we will go Type in B550M DS3H into Google. Make sure you go right into your gigabyte.com. That is the direct website. I wouldn't recommend getting these from any place else. Click on it. Go down, come up here to where it says support. Up here, you don't want to go to support up here at the top because that's the whole website. You want this one right here because it's support just for this motherboard. You click on that. It automatically recognizes your operating system for you, so you don't have to worry about that. Come down here to BIOSes, there's six of them. And uh, we're on F10, which ain't real old. That was uh, 220 of, or that was 09 of 18 of 2020, that one came out. The latest is 325 of 2021. And you look through the notes to make sure it's going to be able to run your processor the way you're supposed to. Um, over here on the right hand column, it gives you a description of what's, what needs to be done or what, it, what the updates actually do. But before we download this, we need to format our flash drive. So you go down here to file system, go down here to underneath this PC, you have to expand it if it ain't already expanded. Go down here to UUID. I don't know why it's UUI, but that's what they got my uh, flash drive listed under. And you can tell there is some stuff in this folder. And this is important when you do this. It will erase all the other data that you have in this folder when you do this. Come over here to where it's over here in this column over here. You right click go up to format make sure it is an f32 default i usually do the whole drive you can portion it out if you'd like to but i'd rather just do the whole drive it's a lot simpler a lot easier and hit the start button and it warns you format will erase all data on this disk to format the disk click ok to quick click cancel click ok let's do its thing it won't take very long there we go, it's already done. Now if we go back down here, the little D down here, it is completely empty. Here are the properties of it. It's right there, file system. It is F32, which is what you need for the buyers to be able to read it. Now since we got that done, we'll go back to the website here. We're gonna hit the download button right here. Should download into our download folder. Come down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Push that up arrow, hit open, and it is a zip file. It has to be extracted. Take up here and hit extract all, and it wants to put it right back into your download folder, which we don't want to do that. When you extract this, you want to go to the D drive, click on it, or whatever drive letter that your computer put your uh, flash drive at, which mine's letter D, and hit select. Then I hit extract. All right, there you go, you see the see the files and whatnot that's in the letter D drive. So we get out of this, 
we get out of this. Go ahead and close down this CPU-Z. There's several ways to get into the BIOS to be able to get it updated. You wanna go down here and hit the power button. Hit the restart button. I normally sit here and start typing my delete button. There we are, we are in the, we are into the BIOS. Yours may look like this, or yours may come up like this. This is, this is called easy mode. If you wanna know what version of BIOS you're running, it says right up here, BIOS version F10. Okay, you can come down here and push Q flash here, or hit F8 on your keyboard. If you hit eight, F8, it takes you right into the Q flash, or you can, Click on this and it'll take you into that same screen as well. Uh, you guys, on that screen right there. And to get into your Q flash, you could also just start typing your end key and still hitting your delete key to get into the BIOS. And then if you keep hitting that end key, if you're quick enough to hit that end key, it will take you right into the BIOS flash. Whichever way you feel more, more likely to, whichever way you feel more comfortable with. Right here at the top, it says update BIOS. You want to click on it. It automatically recognizes the file when it's on the thumb drive. Click on that and hit your error over here. And it says update BIOS. Are you sure you want to update the BIOS? And hit yes. And it's verifying the file. Make sure it's right for the motherboard. And over here you can see that you've gone from BIOS version F10 to BIOS version F13G. And you get them down here, you press the start and let us do a thing. Okay guys, now it needs to reboot. If you don't hit the reboot, it will count down and reboot on its own. And it should take you into the desktop. And there we are, back into the desktop. We'll open up uh, CPU-Z here. See what, uh, make sure it took. Make sure it actually updated it. Or you can go back into your BIOS and check it that way. Make sure it's actually updated to the proper BIOS that you're supposed to be updated to. Either way, I just like this little program because it's a lot easier than having to go back into the BIOS. Go over here to the main board, go down to the second box, you see down here now it says version F13G. So that, that it did update and that is the nearest BIOS for this motherboard. Alright guys, let me get reset up here and I'll come up with the conclusion to the video for you. Alright, all oh, that's the way you get that BIOS update on the Gigabyte B550 MDS3 motherboard. It is a fairly simple process, but there is some risk that goes involved with this. So I don't recommend you update your BIOS unless you absolutely have to. If you have an issue and you think a BIOS update would be necessary to fix the issues. But other than that, I would not recommend you updating this BIOS just to, just to have it done. If you like this kind of content, go down there and smash that like button. If not, there's that dislike button. There's also a comment section below. I go through them every weekend here on my live stream, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. If you really, really like this kind of content, maybe hit that subscribe button and hit the turn on that notification bell where you're notified next time I put out a video or go live here on YouTube. And also, down in the description, there is links to my Instagram and Twitter. I don't care your inbox, but I do put up photos of new stuff I have coming in, give you an idea of what's coming up on the channel. Or if there's any information about my live stream, where I got canceled, or if I got to change the time, that's where you also get that information. With all that being said, you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.